seven billion people on the planet, and you think I could escape. But no, on the contrary, the world continuously reminds me. Because apparently the number one topic in the world today is who's dating, who's married, or who's giving their heart away. And while the world is so concerned with falling in love, I can't even manage to fall asleep. Apparently, I am the last person to miss the love bug. Apparently, I am the last person to miss the love bug. And to me, I'm okay with that, and let me explain why. So let me express my confusion on the fact that my entire childhood, all I ever heard was, stand on your own two feet, do not depend on a man, be an independent woman. Society screamed independence everywhere I looked. And it seemed as if as soon as I became my own woman, all the independent voices died down. And they were replaced with voices that sounded a little more like this. <clears throat> Hi, welcome. Can I get you a table for two? Um, no, it's just me. Oh, it's just you. Or something like, oh, so who are you seeing now? Oh, you're still single? Or probably my favorite one of all is, Oh, so you're waiting for the one? You must have high standards. What do you look for in a man? What's on your checklist? And I'm like, whoa, hold on. I'm just trying to figure out how to get through my day, wake up for work, and figure out what I'm eating for breakfast. There's a misconception in our world today that to build a life, you cannot do it alone. But what I'm greatly puzzled about is how society views us. Yes, I am single, but I'm not alone. And if today is about celebrating love, then I'm the most fortunate one of all. You see, I'm loved by many, and I celebrate them all. But please do not mistake in me, for I'm not, I'm not against relationships, dating, or marriage. I'm simply trying to explain that it's okay to stand on your own. You are no less of a woman without a man. And trust me, he might even thank you in the end. And society, it cons consistently challenges us to be the best girlfriend, fiance, and wife. But I want to take it a step further and challenge you to be the best single girl alive. Find your passions. Fight for a cause. Be something great. And dare to dream a dream, even if it means going against all odds. Love yourself and don't apologize for it. Be incredible and do it on your own. Walk in confidence because then that will be when you give him permission to be confident in you. But above all else, search God and love him completely. Because the single stage is the stage where you figure out what you're made of, who you are, and who you want to be. Stop wasting time looking for a man and pray that your future love searches God before he even begins to look for you. Because I trust me when I tell you, you too cannot make it alone. With the 50% divorce rate, you cannot afford to try love without God. Because for one thing, I am absolutely certain a threefold cord is not easily broken. So it may seem as if I'm taking a stand for independence, but I want to make it clear. I fight for love and a love that will last. So lastly, I want to say to the man whom God will eventually give my heart. I'm going to set my heart aside, and I'm not going to settle for the temptation of temporary satisfaction, because instead I will wait for you, and I will recognize you by the way you have chosen to love God, because only then I will be certain in your love for me. And if you're going to ask me if I'm looking for the fairy tale, I'm going to say yes. Not because I'm, na I'm naive, but because I have learned to attract the heart of a king, you must be a princess within. So now I hope you understand when I say, I'm not single by default. I have chosen this way. I have chosen to give myself room and time to work to be the woman that is worth your time. A woman that walks with integrity, dignity, and discipline, with a heart full of love and a touch that is kind, a speech that is eloquent and a mind that is sharp, but above all else, a life that is fully devoted to Christ. So yes, I may be set aside, but one day I will be set apart. 
So today, I want to applaud everyone that has chosen to love and all those being blessed by love. But number one, I want to celebrate the greatest gift and love of all, and that's Jesus Christ that gave his life for my heart and soul. For in him, I am truly, I truly have it all. So yes, I may be single, but don't you forget, I am fearlessly and relentlessly loved. Happy Valentine's Day.